Oh uh, yeah, I, I've been waiting to make this video right here, man. What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Caleb Plant in the news going at Ryan Garcia. Well, actually, they, well, yeah, basically Caleb Plant going at Ryan Garcia. If you don't know, those two got into a little scuffle. Not even so much as them. Caleb Plant and Ryan Garcia's bodyguards pretty much got into a scuffle. Or not even a scuffle. They just kind of uh, had to like kind of hold Caleb back or whatnot, push him back a little bit or whatever the situation, whatever you want to call it. But these two are going at it, all right? Now, I don't know why people don't understand Caleb Plant is not the person to mess with. Um, this dude has proved himself countless of times. Like, bro, Caleb Plant is not no, is not, Caleb Plant ain't the one, bro. He don't, I, and, and out of all the boxers, bro, Caleb Plant is one of the boxers that get my respect the most. I mean, because I mean, Caleb Plant proved time and time again that he is going to stand on business, whether that be inside the ring or outside the ring and if you don't uh, if you don't you know remember let me just refresh your memory bro let's not forget first and foremost uh before i even get to my main points bro uh for, for y'all that don't understand don't know bro it's a street fight on youtube with caleb playing peace in the hell out of somebody um uh, uh just based off because the fact the dude uh the dude was trying to target Caleb Plant or whatever whatever the situation may be but even that I got a story that you guys don't know about Caleb Plant see I know once again I always tell you this I, I know Caleb Plant from the amateurs or whatnot right um I, I'll never forget Caleb Plant fought this uh this dude named Flap well his name is Anthony Campbell um and Flap um if you guys don't know Flap Flap was bro he you know he was uh on the on Team USA Flap was cold Flap is cold as hell bro really should have been um on, on he, I mean, I just wish he would have, you know, stayed out of the streets, which, you know, but kept flap them be Errol Spence, Jamel Charlo, the been in there with Keith Thurman, all them in the amateurs, right? But, anyways, uh, flap told, I'll never forget, flap told me a story about, um, Errol, I mean, about Caleb Plant. I could put this, this out because, you know, I, I had a conversation with flap, but, anyways, about they, they was at Waffle House one day. Flap, flap actually beat Caleb Plant in the amateurs, too. I forgot to bring that up. Flap beat uh, Caleb Plant in the amateurs, but they, I remember they were at Waffle House. But it was a very close fight. Let me say that too. They were they were at Waffle House though, and Flat was telling me how like some dude. It was like him and Caleb Plant, and like maybe like two other people. But they it was a group of guys trying to press them, and you know obviously they look at Caleb Plant and think it's the white boy. And Caleb Plant, you know he said Caleb Plant like piece one of them. I saw he had to do was just piece one of them do was out, and the rest of them didn't even want to come up. Didn't want to fight nothing. Damn one of them. But and, and that's always how Caleb been. He, he's not finna sit here and jaw jack with you. He's finna go handle this business. If you don't, let me re believe and let me refresh your memory again. Do you not remember? Like and shout out, I love Jose. I love David. They're my peoples. But uh, you remember how they pressed him, right? Um, Ho it was Jose, David Benavidez. It was Rio, and it was like uh, David, uh, uh, Jose Senior, and it was like two other people, and it was Caleb playing Coach jo uh, Coach Justin, and it was somebody. It was like uh, somebody else. You see Caleb Plant fired off on them, right? On on, on Jose. I don't, I don't know if he connected or not, but he like I think he did. I don't know. But you saw what happened and they all escalated. They all got into a big old fight in the uh in the gym or whatever. You see, um, and that's not calling Jose a i I'm not talking bad about Jose. I'm just telling you, like, this is what Caleb is not afraid to stand on business. No security guard or no nothing. You see, um, uh even with Canelo, bro, Canelo pushed dude. He came up on Canelo. Now it didn't end well for Caleb, but still, he came up on Canelo. You know, um, as far as like handling that, uh, Jamal Charlo. You see Jamal Charlo disrespecting his wife, pulling his beard, and this man. And let me tell you something, bro. In front of you, and a lot of people didn't talk about this, and I don't even. I, I, I but I, I noticed it. Maybe because they don't pay attention like I do. His dad was standing right there. Jamal Charlo was with his fam, bro. His dad was standing right there. I don't know if Caleb Plant realized that if, I don't know, maybe Caleb Plant didn't know that that was his dad or not. I don't know, but I know that his family was there and Caleb Plant was by himself. Slap that man, bro. Like, bro, Ryan Garcia, Caleb Plant approached Ryan Garcia by himself in front of all five of his uh, bodyguards, bro. And, 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 and did that, bro. Caleb Plant stands on business. Stop playing with that man, bro. Stop playing with Caleb Plant. That man stands on business. He does, bro. And for all y'all that's gonna say, oh, Ryan Garcia's 135 pounds. It don't matter. You keep you not you keep your uh, you you don't talk about a man's wife. Ryan Garcia, man, matter of fact, let me get into the uh, the post and then I'm gonna speak on the rest, bro. Cause Ryan Garcia gonna mess around and get his he he gonna mess around and get his ass beat, bro. 
talking about George Cambosa's wife, Kayla Plant's wife, uh, Errol Spence girl. Like, bro, dude gonna mess around and it's, it ain't gonna be no boxing. I'm, I'm talking about, it's gonna be on some street, street, uh, some street shit, bro. Let's go ahead and get into this real quick. And so, uh, shout out to Marka.com. It says, Ryan Garcia makes rude and sexual remarks towards Kayla Plant about his wife, Jordan Hardy. All right, it says, Ryan Garcia made serious allegations against former IBF super middleweight champion Caleb Plant following a brawl at the Javante Davis versus Frank Mar Martin event on Saturday evening. Garcia and Plant have a history of social media altercations as it finally spilled over to a physical altercation Saturday with the tension with tensions unable to contain any longer. Oh, here we go. The rivalry flared up again after Plant criticized Garcia and his and his family for questioning Nevada's handling of a failed drug test before Garcia's fight with Devin Haney in, in April. The two exchanged heated comments on social media with Plant reiterating his stance on the drug test and Garcia criticizing Plant's wife, Jordan Hardy. After an exchange of words online, both men suggested they would they would be happy to fight each other in the ring, although it's unclear that if that prospect is now dead in the water. Shortly after Davis knocked out knockout victory over Plant, oh I'm sorry. Shortly after Davis knocked out victory over Martin, Plant threw beer at Garcia, sparkling a brawl. Security quickly inter intervened to separate them. Garcia later took to social media to share his thoughts on the incident, on the incident, making provocative comments about Plant's girl. Caleb Plant just hit me with a beer without me looking, and he ran. I licked your girl's. P U S S Y, and I showed you the proof. He de he declared, bro, dude. Uh, man, oh, I'm gonna speak on it, man. <laughs> a follow up post. Garcia clarified that he was referring to another woman, suggesting that Plant was involved in affair. Uh, in an affair. I mean, your side girl, Plant, not the not the one that Jordan, not the one. I'm sorry, the one that Jordan don't know about. He, he that's bad. She don't know. He concluded. Plant and Garcia's feud began when Plant was an IBF super middleweight champion. Garcia accused Plant of avoiding a fight against Canelo, leading to a fierce exchange of social media. The rivalry seemed to have cooled until their recent online interactions reignited the tensions. All right. That's crazy. And uh, shout out to uh, Boxing, 20, Boxing News 24. Um, it basically talking about what, what Caleb Plant had to say, but it says Caleb Plant tossed a drink at Ryan Garcia, almost causing a brawl last Saturday night at the Javante Davis versus Frank Martin event at the MGM Grand. It says the former IBF middleweight champion, super middleweight champion Plant, who has two losses out of his last three fights, appeared to have words with light welterweight star Ryan Garcia as he departed from Tang Ver Yeah, okay, we already know that. Okay, it says. Once you start talking about somebody's wife, it makes you a little, it, it makes a little bit, it makes it a little bit different. At the same time, I know he needs a lot of people to help it, but if he keeps it up, I'm sure he'll get the help he's looking for. Kayla Plant uh, told to Najee last Saturday night. I'm not looking, I'm not looking to, but I'm not looking to get bullied either. Ne and neither is my wife, said Plant. So when I, when told that he's looking to smack people, just August, or just August or August 10th or August 17th, 17th. Oh, that's what he's, he's talking about when he comes back to fight. He, he's planning to come back um, all in August or whatnot. So, you know. Um, oh, okay. And even says his next fight. Plant is expected to fight August 17th against veteran Jesse Hart in a tune-up level fight. Sweet Hands hasn't fought since last March when he was beaten by David uh, Benavides. All right, so yeah, so okay, Jesse Hart. He's playing to come come back fight against Jesse Hart. Not bad at all. At all. I heard rumors about him and uh, Demetrius Andre, um, but Jesse Hart is a tune up. It's not bad at all. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I, I I lost a lot of respect for Ryan Garcia as a man because for one, bro, you can't sit here and, and I just think this is the most cowardly type of behavior, bro. You can't sit here and talk about people's wives and you want to say all this disrespectful stuff but knowing that you hiding behind your security guard every time you walk around you see Caleb Plant everywhere Caleb Plant goes he is by himself or with his wife you know what I'm saying like 
I, I, I respect, man. I got so much respect for Kayla Plant, bro. I mean, I got so much respect for guys like Kayla Plant, David Benavidez. Them dudes gonna, like, they don't, they not finna, they finna approach you and, and like, they, they not finna have no, all this security with, they, they gonna, you, if you talk stuff, they finna, they finna see you about it. And that's exactly what Kayla Plant did without security, but Ryan Garcia sitting here disrespecting, um, people's wives, talking to, telling, uh, George Cambosis, oh, I wanna raise, uh, take your wife and I wanna, uh, marry, uh, marry, marry, marry your wife and raise your kids and all this type of stuff, bro. Dude, I'm telling you right now, bro, he, bro, if somebody finna really get in, like, man, he, that, that's just, man, that's just some coward stuff, bro. You, you can talk all that because you know you got your security guy. You ain't gonna travel nowhere without security or whatnot. But dude, just a coward, bro. I, I don't care about how, what he weighs. That's a grown man, bro. And, 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 and you know, as a grown man, you don't talk about another grown man's family, bro. You don't talk about another man's family. Why Ryan a coward? But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, bro. Do y'all support what Ryan Garcia is doing? But what do I know?